Hey guys, what's up? It's your buddy Keith, and I am live here in the control room at the one and only Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in South End on Sea, England, baby. And today we've got a stunning Gibson acoustic guitar to share with y'all. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, smash subscribe, come join our circle of friends here on the internet. You're going to love what you see here. We get the rarest, coolest guitars from all around the world, and we show them to you up close. And if you want to buy these guitars, including this exact guitar, well, just head on over to EssexRecordingStudios.com and you can do it. Go to the for sale section, click on acoustic guitars, you'll see this one, and off you go. Very cool. It's also on Reverb and eBay. So what is this? This is the 2017 Gibson HP series, as you can see there, 665 SB. It's a small jumbo. Now, what's crazy is how loud this thing is and how much tone it has for being a small-bodied guitar. It's the SB, small body. You can hear that projection. It's loud. It's uh, surprising. Beautiful, beautiful rosewood. Uh, back and sides, guys. Stunning guitar, mahogany neck. There you see you've got the Maiden 2017. You've got the Mini Grovers, the Gold Grovers. Very cool tuners. Uh, I love the Abalone Rosette. There's an LR Bags pickup system. You can see you can adjust it there. Uh, this one is tone, this one is volume. Very nice figured Sitka spruce top. You can see all the grain and detail. It's beautiful. Tortoiseshell pickguard. You've got Mother of Pearl, real Mother of Pearl dot inlays down the neck. And the silkscreen Gibson logo on the headstock with the classic bell truss rod cover. Also, double bound body, so top and back. It's a, it's a great looking guitar and is it's a brand new design from Gibson. And, you know, if you see my hand here, that gives you kind of a sense of the size of the body. Or you just look at the chair. But it's, it's smaller than, uh, you know, J200. I don't know what, usually when you see something like 665, it's comes to some sort of measurement, you know, so 200 might be, I don't know, 200 uh, millimeters and this is 665 or or 66.5 centimeters. I've, I've got no idea. It's usually has to do with some sort of measurement one way or the other. I'm sure one of the experts on the channel can uh, chime in and let us know. But how cool does the binding look against that rosewood? I think it looks awesome here. Let me put a little bit better light, I think, over here. There we go. Looks like it's got a nitrocellulose uh, clear coat finish on it as well. A little bit of dust. Yeah, that is a stunning guitar. And you've got the cool Gibson Montana... Uh, case as well which I think looks quite nice it's almost like uh, an acoustic lift and tape case kind of looks like it's got camouflage to it but a lovely lovely case that comes with it it's got the nice leather handle you know it doesn't look like a cheap case at all And uh, yeah, back to this Rosewood Beauty. So the HP series, I'm guessing that's high performance. That's what it is with the uh, with regard to the solid body electrics. And uh, definitely has, like I said, a high performance sound and tone for such a. And you know, it's it's funny that we call this a small guitar now because it's not a small guitar. We're just used to. The massive jumbos that Gibson makes. I mean, to me, this is very much a normal size guitar. Like, it wouldn't look funny uh, 
with a grown man playing this guitar. But there are people, there's shorties like me, and, uh, and people who prefer just the ergonomics and comfort of having something smaller or, you know, sometimes too, like, you know, I'm actually, I'm, I'm short, but I'm a pretty big dude. Like sometimes just, it just looks weird having a giant jumbo guitar, depending on how your proportions are. And, you know, for the aesthetic you have on stage, maybe it's something you just don't necessarily want to go for this thing though this is just awesome and i like the uh the rounded cutaway a little bit of trivia for you so i learned that the the sharp uh cutaway is a florentine and ah uh, oh no i've already forgotten what the rounded style is called oh man i think it's two different two different areas of uh italy depending on if it's rounded or if it's or if it's uh pointed it's sharp but I like it. I dig the cutaway. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to put this back in its case. i got so many videos to do for you. So I'm trying to get through them nice and quick. I think this gives you a great idea of what the 665 looks like up close and in person. If you've got any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I'll show you the bottom as well. Might as well. And if you want to buy it, head on over to the website. EssexRecordingStudios.com and follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Lots of guitar videos coming this weekend. I have to play catch up. I've, I've went into the vault. I've got loads of stuff that's been sitting around for like a year or two that I completely forgot to do videos on, haven't even listed. So you're going to see a lot of cool stuff in the next day or so as we, uh, ramp up to christmas it's black friday yesterday let me know in the comments if you got anything cool if you're still hanging out here in the video if you got anything cool for black friday i got some camera lenses got three camera lenses for my sony mirrorless camera my a6600 and that's what we're gonna start using to do some serious videos here big video uh demo videos and just get away from from this thing right here this silly little phone camera that i've been using for way too long and, uh, yeah, just elevate the channel and make the viewing experience nicer for you. Cool, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you soon. Uh, if you've got any questions at all, like I said, don't be afraid to DM us on uh, I get Instagram. I probably get four or five DMs a day from people on YouTube. Uh, we have a contact form on our website. You can fill that out. Or it's just info at essexrecordingstudios.com. Any of the social stuff, just get in touch. If you want to talk about this guitar, talk about life, whatever. I'm here for you. Cool. I'll see you soon with more guitar videos coming up.